we got the best promo out of Quick Trip Marshall and his fuckwads. I tell you what. Hey, by the way, uh, Quick Trip Marshall, <laughs> thanks for the plug. Thanks for the shout out on Twitter. Check it out on his uh, profile page. Um, this was great. Yeah, man. Quick Time Marshall was amazing. Um, I thought he was, uh, I say amazing. You know what I mean? Like a, a, amazing turnaround from mm-hmm. the previous weeks, right? Um, did QT Marshall, did, uh, you know, Quick Trip Marshall prove us wrong? Um, time will tell, but he's heading in the right direction to be proven as wrong. Um, I thought his, what he called him, a bargain bin sting. He's mm-hmm. like, this is my fucking factory. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, he went hard. Uh, he was, it kind of was like, boo, a little Quick Trip Marshall, you have uh, some something really off your chest you were trying to I, yes. And so I thought it was really done well. I thought there was a lot of good jabs at Cody that was original. Again, calling him the bargain bin sting or whatever that phrase exactly was. And again, great. Exceeded my expectations when he first appeared on the screen because I thought it was going to be a, I'm no longer the friend, which he did hit on, but he also went a little bit deeper than that. However, and he was great, but Anthony Agogo talking about he does subway cur- commercials for business and he beats up people for pleasure hey we got a yeah. star with anthony gogo i think well and even even to that you know um quentin tarantino marshall was uh he was the one he was like nick camarado like he was like and he was pointing out he's like these guys aren't gonna be swept on the rug anymore like these aren't the people that were even i said it last week like the fuck are these guys uh like well you about to find out Punk. Mm-hmm. Um, so credit to him. They, they've got my interest uh, changed a little bit, right? I'm ready to see what they do next. The only thing I would criticize them on, and I bet they recorded it before Monday Night Raw. So it's not necessarily anything bad. I think just after Raw aired, I would have edited this part out. But the throwing the paint on the Nightmare Family logo. After Miz and Morrison on Monday Night Raw do the finger paint on the Bugatti when you throw paint on a wall, kind yeah. of well, yeah. that might have reshot it to where you actually got the paint on the logo. You know yeah, I mean? that's like, true. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know, you would have to clean, and who knows? Yeah, what that's, that's, time. that's so true. You got to go buy a new bucket of paint. I, mean, I think I just would have cut that. I think I yeah. would have just cut it with the you Warno. Just pull it down. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But again, or now just, you got paint on it, so now you go, what are you gonna yeah. do? You're right. I think I just would have said like, "We're not taking any more shit" or something like a, an exclamation point statement. Uh, but I was, again, very impressed. We'll see what it looks like going forward. Uh, exceeded my expectations from Quick Time Marshall. Uh, Q- yeah, from Q-Tip uh, Marshall. Q-Tip but, Marshall? Yeah, Q-Tip Marshall. But Anthony Agogo, I was like, hey, I like this guy. And he, mm-hmm. he's in action next yeah. week. We get to well, see him debut. And, and he says, he's like, I'm a household name over. Like, I'm, dude, like, don't mess around with me. Like, you know, you don't know yeah, me, like, but you're about to. Yeah, you Yanks, you think I'm a nobody just because you don't know me, you fucking idiots. Over there, I'm the man, and I'm going to show you that I'm the man. I got a left hook from hell, so about to catch this fucking three-piece in the soda upside your head. After the commercial break, because of course that's what we did after the Quick Trip Marshall segment.